What's up guys, this is uh, Syfic back again, and uh, back with another, I guess you could sort of call this uh, more of a trades uh, video than a pickups video, or, um, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, most of this stuff actually I was able to pick up doing quite a few trades this past week. Uh, uh, it's been really, really hot, haven't had a chance to really hit up the flea markets, and uh, decided to, you know, clean up some doubles and um, put them out there, and was able to get some pretty good responses, uh, surprisingly and was able to pick up a lot of really good stuff. Uh, first off, um, did a trade with my uh, really good buddy, um, Air Force Shields, and was able to pick up a couple of turbo games. Uh, got uh, Valus 2, which I've been needing for the collection. Uh, got uh, Riot Zone, and a copy of Boxy Boy. So if you want to see what uh, he got in the trade, uh, go ahead and uh, check out his channel, um, and uh, you can see what he got. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, I got a pretty good eBay swipe, actually. Uh, one of the few things that I did buy was finally able to get a copy of Parasol Stars. Now, it is missing the case, um, but I could probably, uh, you know, round up a, a sports title case and probably put that in there. But uh, it is complete with manual and the game in excellent shape. And I believe I swiped this for, I think it was 25 or 30 bucks. Uh, this game normally goes for about 50 bucks, so that was a really, really good score. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, hit up a little flea market uh, and was able to pick up a copy of Rayman Rush for a dollar. And then for five bucks, picked up another uh, original Game Boy. It comes in this little Game Boy uh, uh, case. It says Game Boy there. Uh, it is missing the lid on there. Maybe I can repair that. Uh, we'll see. But you open it up and it just has the original Game Boy. Um, just needs a little bit of cleaning, but it's in really, really good shape works perfectly um, and did come with the uh, sports title I believe it's baseball and then it came with a stack of manuals for some other games which is kinda cool I have some of these games so I can pair up the manuals and it came with a bunch of little uh, clamshells for some titles so that's kinda cool this was only five dollars so I couldn't pass it up um, so definitely uh, a pretty good little deal uh, let's see here I did a trade with my uh, buddy uh, Shaq Funaki and was able to pick up all these Super Nintendo games, a couple of N64 games. Uh, it's actually, I believe, there's 15 Super Nintendo games. And then I was also able to pick up this uh, copy of uh, Tempest for the 5200. Uh, this game never actually came out for the 5200, um, but somebody found the um, the unfinished game was able, and the original guy actually who was designing the game was able to finish the game off. Uh, they ended up uh, creating a packaging for it, made nice repro carts, and uh, so it's kind of a cool little story. And I'm normally not into repro carts, but this was kind of cool. So uh, he had it and um, uh, just traded it away to me, so that was awesome. Um, and he traded a bunch of these uh, Super Nintendo games. I'm currently trying to bulk up my Super Nintendo collection, so uh, we got Stanley Cup, we got uh, Aladdin. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Super R-Type, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, the, Simpson, the Simpsons Bart's Nightmare, set those aside, we got um, also uh, Legend of Gaia, Super Mario All-Stars, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, Kirby's Avalanche, Star Fox, which I actually don't have, that's pretty rad, Got, uh, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, uh, Yoshi's Island, and uh, Tiny Toon Bus Loose, and last but not least, uh, Zoop, uh, Super Bonk. And then a couple of uh, N64 games, Mario Kart 64, and uh, Yoshi Story. So that was a really nice trade I did with them. Uh, check out his channel, and uh, links to them are below, uh, so you can see what they picked up. I was able to do a Craigslist trade, and for some, uh, some duplicates of some triple games, I was able to pick up Evo. And uh, the game is in really, really nice shape, and the game actually does still save and everything, so... Um, 
Uh, it was a really, really good deal. I actually didn't have to give up much to get this game, so I was pretty excited and pumped up about that. So that was really, really neat. Also got some Super Famicom games. Got these also from uh, my buddy Shaq Funaki. Got Bomber, uh, Bomberman 2. Uh, Dragon Ball Z 2. Uh, another Dragon Ball Z game. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but uh, maybe you guys know. <laughs> and another Dragon Ball Z game as well. So, that was kind of cool. Uh, did hit up a, the swap meet also with uh, Rob 78 Shaq Munaki and Air Force Shields. Was able to find the, uh, the uh, clamshell copy of Contra Hardcore. Um, it is missing the uh, manual, but the game is in there intact in really, really nice shape. Uh, picked this up for, I believe, 10 bucks. Uh, then picked up, yes, uh, Mutant League Football. One of the decent sport titles you should definitely guys pick up if you guys ever see Mutant League Football or Mutant League uh, Hockey. These are excellent titles. And it is complete. comes with stickers and everything, manuals, and it is uh, complete. So that was really, really cool. And also Ultimate Quicks. And both these games were two for five, so you, that was a really, really insane deal. All right, let's move along here. Let's see what else we got here. All right, and did another local trade with my buddy, uh, Devin. And uh, he traded me a uh, Game Boy Pocket, the clear version. Works great. And uh, some PS1 games. Got the Bushido Blade. Got uh, Legend of Ligaya. Uh, Pandemonium, uh, the Grand Stream Saga, got Mega Man X5, Sweet Coden, and I believe this is Alundra. So those are some pretty cool titles, titles I don't have, uh, and games I want to play. So that was a really, really nice little pickup there. Did another trade on the PC Engine FX forums, was able to pick up a copy of uh, Pokemon M uh, Fire Red. Uh, a uh, copy of Falcon, which I definitely needed for the collection, and then another copy of Shockman uh, comes with a cool little repro uh, back case. So I just need, need a manual for this, and that'll be complete. So that's pretty cool. And uh, also got some other stuff from Devin as well. Um, he also hooked it up with a copy of uh, Vector Man. If you guys never played this game, it was a really really cool game, a uh, really good looking game. And uh, it was supposed to be like Sega's answer to, um, you know, um, Donkey Kong Country, so that was kind of cool. Also hooked it up with uh, Tomb Raider Revelation for the Dreamcast. I got Cool Spot and Subterranea, so that was a pretty nice little uh, trade there. And last but not least, um, I saw an ad pop up on a group I was in. was able to pick up Shadow of the Beast, and yes... Another copy of Beyond Shadowgate. Uh, this is a really, really rare title. It goes for about $400. And uh, the guy said that uh, some kid came into his shop and traded it, these two games in for uh, some just common N64 titles. A uh, kid said he walked out of there kind of giggling, like if he uh, you know, put, one, put, a, put a fast one on him. But little did the kid know that this is actually a pretty rare title, like a $400 title. Uh, this comes complete with the game, the ma the manual, and the uh, poster. This game came with the poster, so that's kind of cool. And so now I have two of these, so um, this is definitely going to be either up for trade or up for sale. So um, overall, a bunch of quality scores, a lot of quality pickups here. And uh, special thanks to uh, Rob78, uh, Shaq Funaki, Air Force Shields, Devin uh, for the cool trades and... Uh, until next time, guys, hope you guys are having some good luck out there, and uh, you guys take care out there, and good luck. Lates.